Hi, Mike Abrams. You're um, showing the show I Dreamt I Woke Up, another RAG member, and you're showing a series of moving images. Um, you've got one on the monitor now, I don't know if you can see it in the camera, but uh, it says, We Grieve in front of a building. And yeah, well, tell us about it. It's, I'll try and keep it brief, <laughs> because obviously it's, it's a project that, that, that uh, or an artwork that grew out of the lockdown uh, the pandemic, um, and this is a, the building site actually is a project I'm involved with, of turning a disused toilet block into uh, a village hall. It's called Liberty Hall, oh, because the fantastic. building looks like, yeah. looks like Liberties. <laughs> and it's on a common, so this kind of notion of what it means to be a commoner in the 21st century and a neighbour is a very important yeah. thing to me. Um, my work is quite different, the pieces I make, but they all have one thing in common, which is where the source material is not what I generate. I invite other people to, to kind of So there's always a community feel of it. Well, yeah, there's, there's, there's normally, so whether it's... Yeah. Whether it's uh, Project in Dalston at the moment, yeah. which is to do with uh, libraries and yes. inviting people to read the first sentences yes. of, of books. So yes. I have their recordings, their audio, and I have the words, and so I make audio and visual yes. pieces within within public space. This is another public a public uh, a piece in the public arena. And um, during the first <coughs> lockdown, of course, it was not possible to have traditional methods of grieving you couldn't there were funerals were restricted to two or three yes, people really people difficult. couldn't sit shiver yes. uh, wakes couldn't be held yeah. and so it was a massive gap for this sense of well despair despair <laughs> that people were feeling and people were, were dying particularly in the area where i live in east london quite quite even had, had one of the worst uh, death rates within the Floridian mm -hmm. community within all the local communities and so i have been using the hoardings to make public messages um, and I thought, well, how can we as a group respond to this, this need? Um, so and we you, came up with the idea of this, will we grieve? And, and it became every, every Thursday night before Clap for Carers, we invited people to tell yes. us the names of people who were deceased. Their names went up on the, on the hoardings. Yes. We, we all said a few words, we had a ding, a thing, and, 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 and a bell. And, and then it was clapped for carers. And it yes. was a wonderful way, so people came who didn't know each other. Yeah. They'd tell a, a short story about, this was my mum, she died. She used to walk across this common every day for 76 years, you know, and so on. Um, and, um, and then as the building opened, obviously the hoarding came down. Um, and after the end of the first lockdown, we, we canned the project. But we wanted to keep this memory going. Yeah. So we set up a drumming circle. Yes. You don't have to be able to draw. I'm a classic example of <laughs> someone with no rhythm or anything like that. But you know, so I, yeah, I get yeah, an no, orange it's filled it's with rice, you know, it's plastic, <laughs> and, like, Ch -ch -ch -ch. and I wrote a chant, some call and response. Yes. If we remember, who would you yes. remember? And then I remember you, my mum, and then yes. people go back and say, just my mum, you know, and yes. so on. And, um, and um, that's been running for a long time. And so the backing track goes as the, as, as the Hoarding fades, the soundtrack comes up, and the names of people who've, who've died are read out. Yes. Um, and um, we're still running it. And, and I'm sure that's very important for people. Yeah, I mean, the people who've lost, lost people, yeah. right? people, they feel incredibly bonded. Well, that, especially this. when they didn't have even the chance to, exactly. to bury, you know, have a funeral, have a real goodbye. Yeah, <laughs> well, it is. I mean, and also you're conditioned, yeah. it's part of your culture. Yes. to have a certain way of yeah. dealing with death. Yes, of course. Um, and many people would argue in Western society we, have, we yes. ignore death. We think, you know, medicine will cure everything. Other cultures of day of the dead in Mexico, yes. the very kind of death is part of, yeah. of you know, life, basically. Yes. So uh, but here we sort of, you know, we bury it under the carpet, literally, and yeah. hope it never happens. Yeah. Uh, so, so this project is, is part of that recognition of, of vitality of death and importance of death in, yes. in society. Well, yeah, I mean, I think also there's a, I mean, I think what's, maybe this is a theme in your, in your work, but it's a, it seems to talk a lot about, like, humanity and bringing people together yeah. and that connecting with people. That's nice, yeah, I mean, 
the work with the libraries, for example, is, is you know, I think books are incredible in terms of they are such generosity. People have written stuff, particularly fiction, where they're sharing their ideas, their imagination from for centuries. Yes. And that's yes. how we learn. Amazing, they are it? amazing yes. books. Are, you know, you read books. Yes. And this is what a generous gift someone has, yes. has, has someone given. It's like music from, is the same thing. Yes. And you know, art. And, and painting. Uh, exactly. I had a very strong experience in front of a Monet, yeah. thinking about, well, this is like this man's thoughts while he stands in his garden painting away and is being like communicated to me. Yeah. And it's a snapshot into how later. someone else feels yes. and thinks and experiences the world. It's very reassuring. And, yeah. and I think this sort of sense of selfishness that's around is me, 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 me. Yeah. And I've got no sense of, of my similarity to other people. Yes. Is, is, um, it's a very difficult yeah. thing. This is just interesting. This, this was, I came across this, this uh, sentence. Was, Grief is the shadow of love cast. And the light of loss and the larger the shadow, yes. the bigger the love, you know. Oh. Um, and I thought that was was uh, Nick Bell, he took the original photograph. Okay. Um, um, so I would like to credit him. Yes. So he was fine with me using his yes. image, by the way. Um, but you know, I, I think... I, th I dreamt I woke up, I hadn't forgotten remembering. Rem remembering remember. I hadn't forgotten. Not remembering. Yeah. Well, as I said, my mum died in January. Oh. And, um, and I still have to sort of say, have I remembered mum today, you know? Oh, really? Yeah, 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 yeah. And it's interesting, because when my father died 20 years ago, it was five years before I stopped remembering him every day. Oh gosh. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But it's with funny. It's, it's, it's funny. It's, yeah. People are different. Yeah. It's just yeah. how it. Yeah. It's a good thing. If it is move, what it is. If you move on faster. Um, I, I, in a way, it is. Uh, I don't. I think. I think. I, think, I don't. Know. My my opinion. It's like I I feel like my lost family and friends are kind of they're with me. Yeah. I always have a sense. Well, of what's them. interesting. Uh, um, at my mum's funeral, um, one of my relatives said, my mum was 100, and she said, actually they said, that um, my mum had moved from being the matriarch to an ancestor. Yeah. And I thought that was a lovely yeah. kind of notion yes. Yes. of, so they're oh, still there, yeah. but their role towards us has changed. Yeah. Um, they belong to everybody as an ancestor yes. Yes. In, in, in our own memories of that person, whether they're your mum and it's big or your auntie. Yes. Uh, it was quite, quite particular, but you know, it, it forms, it's formless in terms of its, its kind I of... I think it's uh, very strong, yeah. though, by those connections. Yeah. Well, I mean, I suppose as you get older, you lose people more closer to you. To, right. That's why I'm trying to become a full-time artist. <laughs> yeah. Get on and do it. You know? Yes, absolutely. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. I had similar feelings like when when my mum died as well, like how you have to just get on with yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Life's short. I'm going to die one day. Yeah. Absolutely. Guaranteed. Yeah. It's yeah. real. Yeah. It really is. So when you're 30, of course it's real, but it ain't going to happen for a long time. Yeah. That's your sense. When you reach a certain age, yes. um, at that certain age, it's a damn certainty. <laughs> yes. and, and it's a fantastic imperative. It's, it's a fantastic energizer. Yes, it's true. I, 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 and, um, I agree with you. you know, I agree and with so, you. so you try to make every moment, or I try to make every more moment. More your own, more, more who you well are. Well spent, I would say. Who and be you honest. Are. Yeah. Authenticity. Yes. Authenticity. Exactly. Just be honest and true to yourself. Yes, exactly. Don't beat yourself up exactly. if it's. Exactly. When you're younger, you do spend a lot of time worrying about what other people think. But yeah. then as you get older, you haven't got time for that. <laughs> <laughs> you just want to be who you yeah. are. Yeah. I, think that's a, I think that's a huge life lesson. Yeah. Well, I, I, I think, I mean, you know, as artists, you know, I don't know if you find that making your work is a way of self-discovery. I mean, you've recently Absolutely. done a self-portrait. I mean, that, that's quite a number to... Yeah, yeah. Yes, you always learn. Yeah, the, the, I, I think it's all about self. It's all about self discovery. It's just like, well, I actually see it as being offering the most of yourself. Yeah. I like. I kind of want to be as much. You know, I, as I said, I feel like like times away there. Don't want to do anything that's not really. I want yes. to be as much authentically me yes. as fully as possible. And like painting is one way I can do it. And I'll just like 
try and give 100% my interest, I'll just be in there. Yeah, yeah. And I have less time for anything that doesn't. Yeah, I, 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 I get drawn to often towards these things where there's no, it's not a technical, it doesn't require a skill necessarily. Yes. Like painting. Oh yeah. You know, I mean, I admire people. I mean, your yeah. work is, I guess, we've taught in the past. <laughs> it's a lifetime of, of not just training, but having talent as well. So my work is much more, uh, you know, in the conceptual area, where, where, yes, I also care about the aesthetics yeah. and, and, yes. and all this sort of thing. Um, but wow. somehow. I think you can say it in so many different forms yeah. and, you know, I love your work and I'm very interested. I think that's, that one particularly is very touching. I saw it immediately and I felt yes. that I got the, it communicated yeah. that human, humanity well, I think, I, I think, or whatever, you know, that thing. Well, I think it's really important about art for me, for my practice. I don't make it for me. A lot of artists make it, but I make it because I think you've got this triangle um, between me, the artist, the work, and the audience, mm. or the public, and I like them to be involved in the making as yes. well as the recipient of the work. Yes. Because once it's out there, you know, there's no point in me making it to sit on a hard drive yeah, yeah. or to sit under my desk yeah. as a thing. What's, what's the point of just using the world's resources? I think, hopefully, it has an effect on people. What effect I can't control. It's about this empath empathic yes. kind of thing, yeah. and I, I think, I think you know, art has this incredible ability to move people, and sometimes it's it's um, uh, you know determined and controlled. And that you call it advertising, yeah. you know. Uh, at the other end, it's it's, very, it's a much subtler subtler thing, and, and so um, I'm very conscious. I, I have these messages that I care about, yes. and, and my work's about. Can try to communicate that with um, the people, with the people, people and by the yes. people, because they do tend, tend to take ownership. People yeah. take ownership or interest if they know they've been part, they've, they've participated. Which I think is really interesting. Yeah, yeah that community sense. Yeah, of, yeah. yeah. Anyway, an interesting. Um, <laughs> the, the the quote at the end. Yeah, it's beautiful. Anyway, thank you. Thank you, Mike. Thank you for talking to me. Um, thank you for including me. It's been <laughs> great fun, you know. <laughs>